Are you often tired, feeling bloated, or have unexplained health issues? What if I told you that right now, tiny invaders might be causing harm in your body? Hi, everyone interested in health. Trust me, this topic we're discussing today might make you uncomfortable, but it's really important for your well-being. We're talking about parasites and candida overgrowth. Now, let me ask you this. Some estimates suggest up to 80% of Americans may have parasites without knowing it. The main question now is, how can you tell if these unwanted guests are living in your gut? More importantly, how can you naturally get rid of them? Stay tuned. I'm about to share nine powerful, natural ways to remove candida and parasites from your body. First, though, let's clear up some common misunderstandings. Maybe you're thinking, I'm clean, I eat well, I can't have parasites. Well, prepare to be surprised. These clever intruders don't discriminate. Whether you never leave your town or travel abroad, you're at risk. And Canada, it's not just a women's issue, as some believe. It can affect anyone, regardless of gender or age. Actually, our bodies naturally have some Canada as a type of yeast. But when it grows too much, it can cause lots of problems. What exactly are these parasites you're talking about? You might be asking now. Great question. There are several types of parasites that commonly infect people. We have flukes, roundworms, hookworms, tapeworms, and protozoa. Each sets up shop in your body in an unpleasant way. Plus. It's not just an American problem. Worms spread through soil affect around 1.5 billion people worldwide. That's almost 24% of the world's population. In fact, many people don't even know they have an infection. Let's bust some myths right now. You've probably heard that poor hygiene is the only source of parasites. Wrong. While good hygiene is important, even the cleanest person can get these bugs. Or this one. If I had parasites, I'd know it. Not true. Many people carry them without symptoms. My favorite is I don't need to worry because I'm a vegetarian. Sorry, but your diet choices don't really affect parasite numbers. They can even hitch a ride on unwashed vegetables. So what puts you at risk? One common way especially to places with poor sanitation, is foreign travel. But your chances also go up by having a pet or eating at your local sushi place. And if you're stressed or have a weak immune system, you're practically rolling out the red carpet for these invaders. Let's talk about symptoms now. We're not just dealing with stomach problems here. While common ones include bloating, constipation and diarrhea, Parasite and candida overgrowth can also cause brain fog, skin issues, tiredness, and even mood swings. Crazy, right? If you do have unwanted guests, how can you confirm it? Well, there are several ways to find out. The best way to diagnose parasites is through stool tests. They can find eggs and larvae in your sample. Blood tests can also help especially for finding antibodies your body makes to fight these invaders. And for candida, there are special tests designed to detect overgrowth in the gut. Now that we've covered the basics, let's get to the exciting part. How can we naturally kick these critters out? Get ready, because I have nine great ideas for you. First, think about where and what you eat to reduce exposure. Cook meats well, wash vegetables thoroughly, cut down on sugar. Candida loves sugar. Parasites find it appealing too. Swap your afternoon cookie for fruit and nuts. Fight sugar cravings with cinnamon tea. Naturally sweet and anti-parasitic. Eat in a relaxed setting to help digestion. Stress leads to poor digestion. Take deep breaths, sit down and enjoy your meal. Try eating outside. Fresh air and natural light actually help 
with digestion. Use digestive enzymes. They're like bouncers for your gut. They break down food and weaken parasite membranes. Look for supplements containing proteas, lipase, and amylase. Herbal remedies strong against parasites and candida include black walnut, oregano, and cloves. Start black walnut at 250 milligrams twice daily. Oregano oil, 500 milligrams twice daily. Cloves, 500 milligrams three times daily. Always check with a doctor before starting any supplements, especially if pregnant, nursing, or on medication. Be aware of possible side effects like stomach issues or allergic reactions. Increase fiber. It's like having a gut street sweeper. Psyllium husks are great. Start with a teaspoon daily in water and slowly increase. Drink plenty of water. Fiber needs it to work. Full body cleansing helps remove toxins produced by dying parasites. It might cause brief discomfort called a Herxheimer reaction. Keep it up for at least two months. Eat leafy greens, drink lemon water first thing in the morning, and consider milk thistle for liver support. While fasting or juice cleanses can also help detox, probiotics are the good guys in this fight. Look for supplements with multiple strains and at least 50 billion CFUs. Good strains include Lactobacillus acidophilus, Bifidobacterium bifidum, and Saccharomyces boulardii. Don't forget fermented foods. Have kombucha with lunch or top salads with sauerkraut. Making your own kefir is easier than you might think. Protein powder made for gut healing repairs your intestinal lining. Look for those containing L-glutamine, collagen, and zinc. Mix into a morning smoothie with coconut milk, berries, and spinach. Now let's talk about creating a diet to fight parasites. For breakfast, try a smoothie with coconut milk, berries, spinach, and your protein powder. Lunch could be a big salad with leafy greens and pumpkin seeds, naturally anti-parasitic, topped with homemade apple cider vinegar dressing. For dinner, think about baked salmon rich in anti-inflammatory omega-3s, paired with roasted garlic, a natural antibiotic, and steamed broccoli. And for a snack, dip raw carrots in hummus. The fiber will keep you full and help clear out those unwanted guests. You might feel worse before you feel better on this treatment. Headaches, tiredness, and skin breakouts are common. Actually, this is a good sign because the parasites are dying. But don't worry, it's only temporary. To help with detox, stay hydrated, rest when needed, and maybe treat yourself to an Epsom salt bath. One thing I stress most is consistency. This is a lifestyle change, not a quick fix. But trust me, it's worth it. Imagine waking up every day feeling truly healthy, energetic, clear-headed. That's what we're aiming for here. I'd love to hear from you now. Have you ever suspected candida overgrowth or parasites? Share your experience. Your comments below will help start a conversation. Your story might help someone else on their healing journey. Remember, your health is in your hands. Take back your energy and kick those unwanted guests out. Until next time, wishing you great health and a parasite-free future.